everyone, Three Mustard Monkeys here. Uh, just deviating a bit from uh, my usual schedule. Um, I kind of got into um, video game making uh, for televisions, and I'm not going to go into it, but I got interested in specifically the hardware uh, portion of it uh, with the TV signals and whatnot. And so I tried to... Uh, tried and I have tested a, a circuit of mine which will uh, just create a test signal for TV for composite video um, and it is using a basic stamp microcontroller and it's for, rel uh, with a lot of hardware it's relatively easy but I don't have any specific video generation chips so I just used a couple of resistors which is actually all that is required to generate a good video signal as, as long as you have the proper software and I've checked around and the basic stamp only runs uh, 4000 instructions per second and usually when you have to generate a TV signal with software you have to have uh, really high level processing power but uh, I just made a proof of concept circuit here that uh, will just generate a simple video signal and display it on this on the TV right here and so all I have on the circuit and then yeah all I have on the circuit is just the microcontroller right there uh, push button which will actually start the program and just these two resistors right here which will generate the uh, video signals all right here's the video video signal right here the if you saw it through an O scope um, as you can see on the picture uh, there is the H sync the 8 microsecond prime signal and then the 52 microsecond image data and this is for a black and white scan line or one of the lines for a black and white image and what each of these breaks down to is the H sync uh, tells the TV uh, to set up for the next line and the 8 microsecond it is um, there for older TVs that still have to prime the electron gun to actually get the uh, line drawn to the screen and the 52 microsecond image data that just delivers all the electrons to their diff to their specific spots on the screen and the voltages here for the H sync is 0 volts completely and that's for 4 microseconds and then for 8 microseconds it's 0 0.3 volts for the prime pulse and then for the rest of the signal it can vary between 1 volt and 0 0.3 volts and 1 volt is for white and 0 0.3 volts is for black and any volt in between is a uh, different intensity of gray and so you just vary that out over the 52 microseconds you have and then you can have different intensities of gray black and white and you can actually have a video signal and then this just repeats um, over and over again to actually give you your complete signal alright here I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate the uh, video output uh, coming from the uh, basic stamp and also I have wired up here a audio output which will uh, I've programmed it to where it just sends couple of audio uh, beeps to the TV letting you know it's ready to actually send the video signals and I have it all connected through an RCA connector um, which is standard composite RCA plugs and it just goes through my VCR down there and then just goes up to my TV so simply connect it There we go. All right. Wow. 
That is loud. Alright. There we go. Alright, so now you can hear the actual beeps being sent by the basic stamp. And it's just letting you know it's ready to send the output. Alright, that's my battery. Sorry. Alright, so now I'm just going to hit the button. And that's the actual output right there. It doesn't, it looks kind of crappy actually, but it's it's quite a feat for a basic stamp considering the um, actual timing that's required out of this. And I really actually had to do a lot of, um, uh, what are they called? Basically just had to work around a lot of stuff. And since the uh, basic stamp doesn't have any uh, delay commands that can go down in the microseconds which I uh, told you that the uh, video signal has the data the actual video data and the um, other signals uh, in voltage pulses down to microseconds but uh, since the basic stamp doesn't have any microsecond delay I took advantage of the basic stamp single uh, task oriented uh, operation where it only does a single command at a time and I used the pulse out command which for those of you familiar with the basic stamp it just makes a simple pulse and it can actually be measured down to two microseconds that's the how accurate it can so I just used that as a delay command by just saying that function for however long it needs to be so it has it where every time one of these two resistors turns on, either both or none, it uh, sends. Uh, it ha after that, it has the pulse out command, which delays that for the next sequence of high lows on and offs for the resistors, which will then send the next black and white intensity image as well as the uh, video sync um, pulse to the TV. So, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I probably won't come back to this for a while, but if you have any tips, that'd be really great, because I kind of been trying to get it to where I would like to actually make shapes on here, but if you have any tips, that'd be really good. And just please comment, post, or subscribe, and I thank you for watching.